forests are from scientific companies that harvest organs and body parts, right? So these are harvested lungs. These are the real thing. So we're going to take out these lungs, which are <coughs> Hook them up right there, and we're going to inflate them. Okay, these are lungs <coughs> from a healthy individual that did not smoke. Okay, let's look. Oh, wow! Okay. So this cool. is healthy lung tissue. Okay. And you can see what we're talking about. Here's the right side. One, two, three lobes, right? Here's the left side. How many lobes? Two. You can see the left lung is a lot smaller than the right, right? Okay. Why is now, it? the alveoli are holding gas. Gas exchange occurs well in these lungs, right? Come wow. up and feel what healthy lung tissue feels like. Just grab it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Feels like a soft sponge, doesn't it? That's basically what it is. Filling with air. Okay? Okay? That's pretty cool. You can see the distinct outline of the three lobes, though, can't you? Right? Okay, now, now we'll let them deflate. Okay. Put some gloves on. <laughs> Just in time to feel what these lungs awesome. feel like. <laughs> Those are real? These are the real thing. Okay. <laughs> they are. They feel like a sponge, right? Okay. Now we'll let them go down. Let them push the air out. <laughs> like a balloon. <laughs> Look at how it shrivels. Wow. Okay, now. Here we go. Right? What came? It gets so big when you take your breath away. Of course, that's why your rib cage expands. Yes, of course. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you the lungs of someone who smoked and has lung cancer. How long did they come for? Twenty. These are lungs that are over twenty years old. Oh. 20 years of smoking. How are so were the healthier lungs the same age? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. These are the lungs of someone that smoked I don't want to take and that had one. lung cancer. <laughs> okay. Now, let's look at these when we inflate them, right? And show you what smoking does. Here's the three lobes of the right side, right? See them? Look at the left side, it's damaged. There is a tumor in the lower lobe. There's a developing tuberous cyst in the upper one. Come and feel the tumors. And what they're like. It feels like steak fat or something, you know, like big <laughs> <laughs> This will not inflate 
because it is damaged tissue. That means that the alveoli have ruptured and they will no longer hold um, gas. Okay? So, like, does this person have, like, maybe emphysema, too? And huh? Does he have, like, emphysema, too? Or no, emphysema, now, is different than a tumor. Emphysema causes the lungs to get holes in them. You'll oh, okay. see holes in the lungs. They can't hold air very well at all, so that means that they have to be on oxygen. Okay? So now, this, is, this is the cancer here? Yeah. Feel That's the tumor right here. Oh. Inside. Oh, it's inside. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's I know. I didn't get a chance. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought it was this damaged area down here. That's the tumor. You all feel it? Yeah. <laughs> It's huge. People have been known to have tumors in their lungs the size of grapefruit. Okay? Now, the purpose of this demonstration is to drive home the point that we were making the other day. And I told you, statistically speaking, right, that 95 to 98% of all lung cancer is caused by smoking less than 1% to 2% occurs in non-smokers. That means that this is strictly a form of cancer that is related to human activity, right? And it is a form of cancer that is completely preventable. <clears throat> I also told you that uh, I think I told you all, right, about my brother, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that he had his right side removed, leaving just the left lung, which is considerably smaller than the right. So, right, he cannot get off oxygen. He's on oxygen tank all the time, okay? And he is going to be 63, okay? And he's on oxygen tank all the time. Probably... If he lives another two years, that'll be a long time, okay? Mm. So the, the thing that I think drives home the point with my brother is this. <clears throat> you know, 